Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Nia in Progress and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to pump this video out sooner rather than later and normally I would do like a late to the game first impressions after the dust has settled, once all the influencers get their reviews out, but I don't know, I just really, 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 really wanna try this product out and what product am I talking about? Well, I'm gonna open it with you. It is Z. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down there, shawty. The Tati Blendiful. Yeah. And I purchased an extra because I'm going to do a giveaway at some point. Maybe soon. I would like to if we... I would like to do a giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers, but I might just do a giveaway sooner because if I really like this, then I'll give it away. Oh, no, I'm just going to give it away anyway because I think you all should have your own opinion and everyday Joe, Safines, Joes deserve to have beauty stuff if they're into that. Anyway. Okay, so I have half brows on, so I'm going to zhuzh up the brows and then maybe throw a wing liner on just so we have a little something something. So I will do that probably off camera. Yes, I am putting my hair up once again during a video because hashtag professional. Why don't we start with priming and then we will do the eyebrows and a little bit of a wing off camera just to look a little bit put together since we're testing this out. And today I'm going to be testing, continuing to test out the VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. My face is already prepped with um, moisturizer and eye cream. And it is now 8.30. Child just went down for bed. And mommy's going to play with some makeup before bedtime. Because that's... I relax and I'm insane and literally don't know how to truly relax and do nothing except yesterday was MLK day and I totally did nothing okay I'll be right back I'm gonna pop on some brows I'm gonna zhuzh up these brows okay now that I'm back let's chat about what this is so Tati Westbrook I did a First impressions late to the game on her palette, which I have right in front of me because I really enjoy it. So here's her palette. I'm not going to get too much into it. I will show you what she looks like. She created a neutrals palette and I think a lot of people were surprised at her next product being a makeup puff. Now, I don't know for those of you that are a little bit newer to makeup or uh, you don't use makeup very often, but you kind of like watching these videos. There's different types of tools you can use to apply your foundation. So this is a tool that is primarily for the face. <laughs> it's the end of the day. Don't judge me. And this product claims that you can use it for your full face. Let's read the claims online because all it says on the back here are the cleaning instructions it doesn't actually share what to do with them and then I'm gonna open it in front of you because I actually haven't opened this product yet I just got it in the mail and I had it delivered to my office at work and it got delivered over the weekend I was like no! anyways the blendable is the makeup applicator you didn't know you needed this, this game-changing soft textured fabric tool is a blending dream that's designed to seamlessly apply and soften both liquid and powdered products. The rounded edge and pointed tip help to provide a perfect blend step to perfect blend step to step in your makeup point application. I can't read. Apparently, I can't read. Buff and foundation with little product waste experience seamless contour, smoother concealer, and the most airbrushed powder application, even in those hard to reach areas of the face. Even in those hard to reach areas of the face. Oh, I read that again. Again, I can't read. It's the end of the day. 
Save products, save time, and become the expert artist of your own unique routine. However you, cho however you choose to use the Blendiful, you will look like you will look your look will be one with no harsh lines every time XO is talking. Step one: primer. Step two: foundation. Oops, I already applied primer. Well, it didn't rhyme with directions. It didn't come with directions. Let's just open it and see if it came with directions. No, it didn't. It just comes with the product. So it's a good thing that I went onto the website. Three conceal, four contour, five powder, six highlight. So we'll do five out of six. I think that's fair. So in it, you get two products. You get the Blendiful and the Baby Blendiful. You know what it feels like? It feels like those makeup eraser, um, makeup eraser towels. I will insert a picture here of what I'm talking about. And then the cute little baby blendiful. We will see how this applies. And really today, I'm not a beauty influencer. I mean, maybe I'm trying to be, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun. But I am your everyday average makeup enthusiast. So not your average person, because I don't think the average person is obsessed with makeup like me. But if you're a makeup enthusiast or you enjoy watching these videos, or you're new to makeup and you wanna you're you're just getting into makeup and you wanna know if it's noob proof or amateur proof i'm your girl okay so i did prime already so next is foundation well before foundation today because i've got some friends here frenemies that keep coming coming for me we're gonna conceal them and we are gonna conceal with the elf hydrating camel concealer so this is the hydrating version of the elf camel concealer also side note nails are not that great i will share what nail polish i'm using because i actually really enjoy the nail polish but i got my nails done for new year's almost three weeks ago actually three weeks ago and they are still on and i need to go get them removed because they are dip, dip powdered nails so we're going to use what's the baby for. I, okay, actually no, I know what the baby is for. I watched her video. I'll also link her video below. The baby is meant for touch-ups and so we're not going to use baby today. The cute little BB. She's going to stay below. And then I'm going to use this point here to buff out this concealer. And actually, since we're going to go into liquid foundation, we'll, we'll also use this point for the foundation. blends really nicely and there's definitely a little bit of product that stays but it's not as much as say maybe a beauty blender I'm trying to be as impartial as possible in my opinion because I really like Tati and I really liked her palette so there are just some youtubers out there that I really trust and would hope and have confidence that they would put out good product out there since they're so honest and harsh about products out in the industry. For example, Emily Noel is a big, I'm a big fan of hers and I really enjoyed, I know Tati actually didn't enjoy her um, Wants palette with Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup, whatever their brand is, and I really enjoyed it. I got extra discoloration because of acne scarring as of late, so I'm also going to conceal that. We're just going to go for a flawless look today. I will likely make a video on how to look flawless. How to make our confession flawless in the next, I don't know, month. I have a couple different how-to videos that I want to film. Let's blend these out. Like I said, this texture reminds me of those like really soft makeup erase towels and they also remind me of like throw blankets this literally feels like a blanket that my cat would make biscuits on it does and it's so soft and it is very bend of bend bend bendable so far I dig it dark spots and red spots on my face okay next we're gonna go in 
I'm wearing black sleeves. I don't know why I do this. So I'm gonna roll them up. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. Yeah, in the shade 51 NN. Here's the packaging. I had been trying this out in November and I had a couple testers. I had like two pots of testers from Sephora because the lady was super sweet. And I finally, after Christmas with all my gift cards, purchased this guy, but I purchased it at Ulta. Sorry, Sephora. I'm gonna dot this on my face with my finger. We're gonna see how this blends out. I'd say this is like a medium to full coverage foundation. Okay, in the true test. We're gonna take my foundation up to the forehead, which I don't usually do. So let's blend this out. We're gonna pat and then swipe, smear. I like that it is not heavy so far. It doesn't make it doesn't make my face feel like it's getting caked on, which I feel like sometimes a brush can do that. Lately I've been using brushes just because I have them and I'm lazy <laughs> to go with a sponge. We're gonna go in with two layers of foundation, which is what I typically do. And I was just patting. I don't usually put much under my under eyes. I do like that I can really fold it up and get in between my brows. I am one who likes to do my brows first versus after foundation. Let's go in with another layer. So far, so good. I love how lightweight and soft it is. And how universal, versatile, that's the word. Hey, my brain worked. I like how versatile it is. Man really need to wax my moustache for the sake of the YouTubes we will go under the eye some and that blended out foundation quite good quite well my English there's no streaking it doesn't look like texture so I definitely I like, uh, so far, what's natural to me is pressing and stippling and then swiping a little bit to blend it in. Let's set. Okay, so here's where I deviate from influencers. Most of them use loose powder to set their face. I like to use pressed powders. Mm -hmm. So, should we put it to the test? I feel like we should because this should not disrupt your makeup routine. And today we're going to test out the pure four-in-one pressed mineral makeup. So I really enjoy the, ma ah, you know what? For the sake of science, we should, we should use products that we're familiar with. We should not be messing around. If we're testing this guy out, we should use we should pro use reliable products that we know is going to work. So we're gonna use Medium Golden by Mac Mac Mineralized Medium Golden. Here we go. It's no longer dome shaped. It's pretty flat because I use this a lot. And I'm taking the clean edge here, and we're just gonna. Use this to set as a pot. This is now this is the part that feels funky. Okay, initial thoughts. This is impressing because you probably can't tell on camera. I swear when other beauty gurus do this kind of stuff up close, I'm like, I can't tell what you're talking about. 
And now that I'm doing, I'm like, you probably can't tell what I'm talking about. So I just swiped in twice. Pretty, I'm heavy handed. So lightly for me, but probably a little in there for some people and just swiping it and dabbing it, dabbing, dabbing on my face. I can tell there's a lot more coverage that this puppy gives out on this pup, puff than when I use a brush. So one swipe is probably enough because I, I really don't think you'd be able to tell on camera, but there's a lot more coverage here than there is here now that I'm putting this pressed powder on. So I'm just gonna go in once on my left side right side for y'all watching me you can kind of tell in this area kind of got orange ish tanner if you will I mean, this is pretty yellow tone golden bronzy i don't know my colors <laughs> we're gonna blend that down the neck i'd be interested to see the moment of truth in the car and see what this looks like because it doesn't look cakey on camera and in here with all the studio lights but you never know i skipped the concealing step because i put it on the other step and i honestly i don't have cream bronzer so we're gonna skip the bronzing step or the contouring step but i mean i guess we could try it out heck why don't we try it out we're gonna take the same side because i'm not gonna go back in with any more powder foundation, we're gonna use our Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. There ain't no other like you, really. And we're gonna just dip into it. I'm gonna just go in once, and we're gonna kind of contour for highlight. I'm gonna go in twice. Can we tap? Is there tapping? No, there's no tapping. And we're gonna squish this puppy and focus it on the temples. See what swiping does. Okay, you can see that line. Let's see if we can blend it out. Let's see if this is truly new proof. I mean, that's pretty good contour on camera. Can we blend it out? What helps is Since I've contoured a little bit, now I'm taking it up to really blend and see if we can bronze a little bit. Man, I hope this video doesn't end up being like 30, 40 minutes long. Okay, let's do the other side. Next, I'm gonna go back in with that side that we used the foundation on. There doesn't seem to be much product there, but we are gonna just run it below that contour to blend out any harsh edges. For blush, I think what we're gonna use instead of a cream blush, which I have a cream blush, but I don't use it often. I'm not as, I haven't gotten to the cream products bad yet maybe I will I just it's, I feel like it's a lot more work than powder and I'm also old school stuck in my ways we're gonna use the bare minerals bounce and blur blush in mauve sunrise mauve sunrise yes mauve sunrise I'm trying not to catch the shadow so you can get this color here and we're gonna take the last bit that's clean and we're just gonna Tap, maybe swipe, tap, swipe, tap. This product is like a more of a cream product anyway. It's kind of a hybrid is what it feels like. It feels partially like a cream, partially like a powder. It applies like a powder. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this girl on. She's gonna be on my cheeks. We're gonna dab, dab up Ooh. and then we will highlight with this we're 
gonna I'm gonna dab twice. Focus more on the apples. So this application so far with this blush, so much better than the brush I used. So you try this out. In my first impressions video of this, I just switched over to the powdered side to be able to blend because I want a little bit more ham here than I did here. So let's try to tone that down. Now that I'm all blushy and rosy, we're gonna highlight. And for highlight, Let's see, what shall I use today? Do, 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 do. We're gonna shine, 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 shine. We're gonna shine with some Ofra Cosmetics highlighter, the Rodeo Drive, because it's the end of the night, so why not? And we are gonna use the side we use for powder. Actually, <laughs> I can't tell the difference between the powder side and the foundation side, but it, do it doesn't seem to be transferring when I try to get it on the back of my hand. It only absorbed a little bit of the product, which is really nice. So I'm gonna just uh, squish and I'm gonna do two swipes. Probably even crazy. Let's try to highlight here. Ooh. I'm going to bed after this because if I went outside, I'd blind all of you. We're gonna take a, the other like foundation or bronzy contour side and just dab over that. <laughs> okay, stereotypically, as other YouTubers say, you'll see this from out of space. So, I mean, my skin looks pretty glowy right now because the primer that I use and probably the lights in here, but let's just, uh... <laughs> that was a straight up stripe. Let's uh, blend that out. <laughs> What's nice is it's not lifting any of the previous product that I've put up. That's good. I think I completed the steps per Tati. So let's just double check our work here. Number one is primer, which I did not do. Did it with my fingers my bad number two foundation i did concealer first because i had some discoloration that i wanted to take care of and i don't really do the whole highlighty thing unless i'm going to the club which is never or going to vegas which is soon number three conceal so i did the foundation after number four was contour which i did with the powder and i think with the powder it turned out pretty well i didn't contour my forehead because going to sleep and I even when I go out I don't really contour my forehead I do bronze it up just to give it a little bit more warmth so it's not flat but I don't do the whole contour glam glam all the way glam it up I don't have an hour and a half to get ready number five powder which I used a pressed powder not a loose powder so I will continue trying this out and number six was highlight, which you just saw, and I'm not gonna get into it. So, overall thoughts on first impression. So far, so good. I wanna set the face. I'm gonna read the cleaning instructions, and then I will make sure to do a follow-up video, and I will likely use this product more and more on my channel just as I'm trying it out. And I think that's a trend that you'll just see in general for me, is when I'm trying out product, I'm going to continue filming while using it just because I don't do this for a full-time job and I don't feel like I have to continue saying that after today. Uh, however, I did wanna just make sure I set that expectation that you won't see me use like 50 different products because the angle that I'm coming at this from or like the perception, I guess angle that I'm coming at doing my YouTube is I'm like your average Joe Sophie average show who has a working who, who works full-time I don't do YouTube full-time this is really just a hobby and passion project for me but I do want to relate to you women teenagers men boys whoever is watching this out there to 
express yourself and follow your dreams. And I want you to know like, hey, I see you. I know you can't buy all the things. We're gonna set the base. We're gonna use the, no, we're not gonna use the primer water because that's a primer water. But we're just gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because I have it right here. And it's just convenient. Very convenient. And then, should probably not look like a dead person. And, wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop something. No. You know what's sad is I can actually sing well. But I joke a lot. My singing voice. You know, for having to judge my brows from the morning, I just wish they turned out like this in the morning. Lips. Lips, 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 lips. Since we're already here and going all out, we're just gonna go all out. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in Dancer. It's this red. Ooh, you don't see it on my lips, so I don't need to swatch it, is where I'm getting at. Okay, now that we've got bold, super bold lips on, let's let's touch base about this and wrap up my thoughts, which I don't think will be surprising. Are they ever? Let's chat about cleaning instructions. So this, the instructions on the packaging it came on, which I appreciate that it is minimal packaging. However, this is not recyclable. So me, I just wish brands really understood how imperative it is to start looking for, hold on, I got distracted. How imperative it is to start looking for alternative solutions for packaging just because the state of our planet is not great at least that's what i think so i'm not going to get into it because i don't want to get political on here but it is something that is important to me uh and it is something that i do look for okay let's get back to cleaning instructions and final thoughts Cleaning instruction says to machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water, rinse throughout and blot dry. Do not bleach, do not dry clean, 100% polyester, polyester. Okay, how often? Let's go look on the website to see if there is any information on, nope, that, that's the, that is the uh, instructions. So. For sanitary purposes, okay, let's be real. I don't clean my brushes every week. <laughs> I said it. So I don't know if I'll clean this every week. I will try to, but I don't know if I will be able to. So we shall see how well I keep up with that. Also noticing my camera settings are off, so my lighting looks different. Someday I will not talk about lighting, I promise. So cleaning instructions, that's what it says. I will likely try to clean this every couple days. Um, just because for sanitary purposes, it isn't great to continue to dip into product and dip into product because bacteria can build up. Probably why some of my acne is coming back on my face. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's primary for sanitizing purposes. As far as final thoughts go, I was blown away by her palette and I'm a little bit blown away with this product because my complexion seriously looks flawless and granted I kind of did the full face thing but I have not ever seen my face look like this with a beauty blender or a tool and I, that is my unbiased opinion. Like if this didn't have Tati Westbrook's name on it and had some other YouTuber or big brand came out with this i would still be intrigued because it is something that is so unique to the beauty community slash 
assortment of beauty products out there. There are puffs out there like the Laura Mercier, but that is your more standard puff where it almost feels not like a towel. It doesn't feel like a towel, but it's definitely not as soft as this. And so if, if this is the type of tool that makeup professionals or makeup artists are using, dang, I'm so glad she came out with this because this is a secret for sure that no one I didn't know about. Granted, I'm not a professional, so I'm not, I don't know all the things about makeup. However, I have kind of worked in the industry as a freelance artist, sort of. I've worked alongside other artists who do it as their full-time job, and I've never seen anything like this either, and it is so soft. I have seen it as like a towel. Again, the, this is the third time I'm mentioning it, and I can't remember her name. I'm just gonna make up eraser towel. So the, yeah, anyway, this is, this is bomb. I would say if you can swing it and if you want something that's really versatile, you don't have to travel with a ton of brushes and you prefer sponges over brushes, definitely you should purchase this. However, if you're not going to use it, don't buy it just for the hype. Don't purchase your products consciously. I never want to force you. I never want to feel like I'm forcing you to go buy something you don't need. If I say you must have it because it's so good, if you're going to use it, then buy it. If you're not, don't. Like if you really don't need the product or you have something that you already love, but you want to test it out, test it out first. There are ways you can do that. Anyway, this review is getting all everywhere, but that's who I am. Tangent Queen. <sighs> It's amazing. I'm glad I bought one for a giveaway. So I will be giving away one of these in a giveaway soon. Obviously, I've said that like five times. And then I also got one from one of my best friends for her birthday. It's also my cousin. Her birthday. With that, we're just going to end here. Thank you so much for watching and kicking it for, with me at nine o'clock in the evening on a weeknight where this beautiful face is not going to waste because I'm using it for filming. However, no one else is going to see me in person out there like this, which is a shame. Look at this one. Look at that. Okay. If you like me, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, what you doing? Just watch. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. And I'm different. Bonus points for you if you ring the bell and get notified every time I upload. And with that, see you next time in my next video. Bye!